Hello, I'm Ron Miscavige, and this is another life lesson. And I'm going to tell you a story that happened to me back in the late 60s, and it was involving a football game. I say it's a humorous story now, and I have a good chuckle at it, but at the time, it's pretty crazy. Anyway, just let me get into it so you'll see what I'm talking about. First of all, I lived in a town called Willingboro, New Jersey. That's where I raised my kids. Nice area, uh, a great place to raise children. About a block away from where we lived, there was a football field, a baseball diamond, basketball court, a swimming pool. Just very nice amenities and um, had a comfortable home. We had a colonial home, uh, two and a half bats. Schools were pretty close by. It was pretty nice. Anyway, um, I've been a, an Eagles fan since as long as I can remember. And I had tickets to go to the game. I had four tickets. So we're going to go with my first wife and my son, Ronnie, and his friend, Scott McManus. So uh, this is a big deal because, uh, you know, we're going to go to see the Eagles play at Franklin Field. And I don't remember who they were playing, but I was pretty excited about going. So now we're located halfway between Philadelphia and Trenton. So for us to get to the Eagles game, it wasn't much of a problem. You just go over to Pennsylvania, take a little bit of uh, side roads, some good highways, and you can get there probably in about 30 minutes. Now, my first wife was always late and just one of the traits, you know, not a big deal, but she could manage to get out of the house a little later than we're supposed to leave. Maybe she wanted to change her lipstick, whatever it was. It was happening. I thought, okay, we're a little bit late. We, we still got plenty of time. So we get in the car and I had a, a gray BMW in those days. We're driving down to the game and we get over to the Philadelphia, uh, Pennsylvania side and the traffic's starting to get jammed up and I'm checking the time and I'm thinking, man, we're going to be close. This is, this is going to be a tough, tough thing for us to make that kickoff. So we're getting closer and closer. Now we're in city streets. And I end up in a line of cars, and I can see a block away, there's a light. And this light favored the other cars. So the light would change to green, be on for about 20 seconds. And if you had a guy that was slow on the uptake, maybe only two cars could get out. Then it would turn red on the other side. I had it for a couple of minutes. And I'm thinking, I ain't going to make this goddamn kickoff if I don't do something. So here it is. I have my wife, I have my son and his friend in the car. I said, fuck it, man. I drove my car onto the sidewalk and drove up the sidewalk, not real fast, but fast enough, with my head out the window yelling, get off the sidewalk, and people yelling at me, you crazy son of a bitch, what are you doing? So I drove up to the end of the block where the light was, got onto the road, bypassed the light, went down to Franklin Field, got to the turnstill, Gave him my tickets. I thought, we're going to make the kickoff. This is great. So we go up into the stands, go to our seats, and guess what? I have a fucking obstructed view. I'm sitting in back of a girder. I could not believe it. Well, let me tell you. Nobody laughed because that would have been a very inappropriate thing to do at the time. But I will tell you, it's a good thing they didn't sell scotch at that game because I would have been driving home drunk and I would have probably gotten a drunken driving ticket. So now, I don't remember if they won or lost, but I do know this. After I just risked a lot driving on that sidewalk, getting to the game, and now I'm in back of a girder and I'm going to have to watch the game this way and that way. What's the lesson here? I'll tell you what the lesson is. Try not to marry a woman who was always late because they may cause you to do bad things. Now... <laughs> For Christ's sake, you know I'm only joking. That's the lie. I'll tell you what the real lesson is. If you're going to do crazy things, be prepared to pay the consequence. And in this case, if a cop would have stopped me, I may, ended up, I may have ended up in jail. I would have definitely got a heavy fine, maybe lost my license, just for the sake of making that kickoff. You see how nuts this was. I see it now, of course, at the time. I was seized with the idea because I was an Eagles fan and that was all I could think about was getting to that game in time. But uh, that's, that's the real lesson here. So 
think twice before you do things like that. Is it worth it just to save a couple minutes to do something crazy like that? I'd say absolutely not. The only thing worthwhile about it is a great story. And what the hell, here it is. That happened in the 60s. This is 2019. I'm telling you the story. As I look back, it was funny. And as a matter of fact, Scott, my son Ronnie's friend, became a Thunderbird pilot. And he, to this day, says it was one of the more exciting things he ever did in his life. So that's my lesson for today. And um, I'm glad you tune in. And I thank you for participating in this. If you'd like to help out, you can become a patron. Uh, just go to my website, therealronmiscavige.com. It'll show you how to do it. I appreciate your help. It helps the ongoingness of this program. And at the same time, you can see what else I do. I'm a writer. I've written a couple, I've written a couple of humorous books and one serious one called Ruthless. And I interview other people also. So uh, that's my life lesson for today. And thank you for tuning in. I'll see you on the next lesson. Bye-bye now.